more guys, uh, Madhu here and uh, Bunny. We uh, we are heading to uh, Ocean Marina this morning here in Pattaya, <coughs> where I am going to start my uh, skipper uh, license and my skipper training for skipper license, so I can sail boats. So anyway, it's going to be a nice adventure. We'll head that way and uh, we'll try to get some uh, clips uh, throughout the training, which will last just about ten days. All right. We'll take you along. Good to see you. Uh, yep. Well, well, What's up, well, Sam? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yes, yes. How are you doing? Good. Welcome. How is, how's it going? All Welcome, right. everyone. I'm just going to get the uh, key. Yeah. Very good. I'm oh, sorry. We All right. Oh, we'll, we'll see you around five. Okay. <laughs> We're all right. Okay. Thank you. See you later. That's it. Okay. Uh, guys, I've just got to get set up. I'll be with you in just a few minutes. You can take a seat in the classroom or okay. mill around. Mm, uh, and then we'll leave the costume uh, The first shop there uh, in this row of shops has costumes. Oh, they want a costume or something? Uh, well, if you can give me 10 minutes, we'll oh, no get this started. Perfect. Yep. So you can wander down there grab a coffee if you want. Do By you the way, restrooms, if you need restrooms. Yeah. Oh, oh, John, John, where are the restrooms now? There's no restrooms at the at the at the hotel. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. You follow the sign. There's also some under the ramp. There's the, the, the yellow and black stripe. If you go under that ramp, there's a, what I call the workers' dorms. Okay. <laughs> they're they're closer. <laughs> they're closer, but they're all closer. Hilton. He worked for Hilton. Mm. Yeah, so he was a, a hotel manager for them. And then came to Thailand. Prepare for this sort of emergency. Mm. Oh, well, not unfortunate. Yeah. 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 Okay, now. So we'll be tomorrow morning. Sorry. Tomorrow morning. Sorry, tomorrow morning. Sorry, tomorrow, morning. Sorry, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. It's 8.50. Uh, there is going to be uh, a couple of exceptions to that, which I'll get into here. So uh, during the program, uh, it says here there's two overnighters. Actually, what there is is there's one overnighter and then one, one full day, which includes it. And you tag the bottom right. and you drag through the mud and, you know. Hey guys, Meadow here. We just finished our uh, first session of the training course. And uh, we're heading to lunch, and then we will head back to the boat for sailing. Some of the, some of the team that we are getting the training together. We are here at the marina. Just had uh, some lunch, and now we are heading back out to the. It was Oh, it was Kosamui to Kota. And the water was so rough and it's really yeah. chining and the waves would come in. Now finished with lunch, we are strolling down the marina to meet with uh, Tim and get to the boat. We are waiting on Tim. So here's the boat where we are uh, getting some training. Go for a little uh, sailing trip. Amori, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Captain Mike. Hey, Mike. From uh, Hello, Mike. the good old USA, aboard his lovely vessel, Amore Catalina 36. Also, USA. Both born in the same year, was it? No. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is Mike's pride and joy right here and welcome aboard. What we're going to do is I'm going to do a briefing uh, before you get underway and then Raymond will join you and Mike will join you and take you out. You'll be out for about two hours back by five o'clock. Okay? okay. But first, before we go anywhere, I'm going to do a basic briefing. I'm going to basically explain how to set the sails so that you can participate in setting the sails. I'm going to go through a little demonstration on how the winches work. And I'm going to show you basically uh, how the rope clutches work. Just really enough so that you can participate in raising and lowering the sails and, uh, you know, maybe get a chance at the helm and all that sort of thing. Okay, this is really meant to be what I call the icebreaker sail. It's just to get us out on the water and uh, it's a great day for it. So you can go ahead. I got lots of crew, so I love it. <laughs> oh, uh, go ahead and jump on board. Where would you like to stow their gear? Uh, the Anywhere down okay, there. great. Can you can just toss it anywhere down there. Probably uh, in the here. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. Shoes, Mike. Shoes. Optional. Do whatever you like with them. Whatever you like. Yeah, you can leave them right here. It's fine. Uh, that's our ice chest right there. Where would we swear would you like to put it? Uh, I'll probably just put it down in the gallery. on this boat is that huge companionway. Yes. I mean that it's hat. Enormous. It looks like it's come off an 80 footer. <laughs> but oh, isn't it nice? Way. It just really opens that up, doesn't it? It just makes it, it gets it gets some air down there and everything else. Little big jelly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, well, the way they used to build them right, you know. Uh, well, anyway, so well, old. It is, it How old is the boat? The Mike? original Catalinas, the, the owner's wife designed is that right? Yeah. Uh, was she a big lady? No, I thought better to go over some of the bases at the dock underway because once you get underway, you could lose control a little bit of the environment and so on and so forth. The wind's up, so on and so forth. Good to run through these things before you actually do them for real, and that way it's a little bit easier when you're directing the operation to say, hey, remember what we talked about earlier about that jib sail? Okay, now we're going to do that. So let's see, there was this line and that line, remember that? So referring back to things is usually good, rather than trying to explain it for the first time when you're actually trying to do it live, if you will. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through and point some things out. You don't have to master any of it right now. It's just, you know, going to be like a preliminary reefing sort of situation where, you know, pick up what you can. And uh, believe me, there'll be uh, lots of practice over the next day. So, all right. So the first thing I want to do is uh, just uh, go over how to set the jib sail. Um, if you take a look at the boat, we have two sails here. Uh, the sail here uh, is the mast, the boom, and the sail in the back is the mainsail. It's supported by, uh, on the front edge, uh, by the mast, and on the bottom edge, by the foot. And this is as good a time as any to just uh, give you a few possibly new terms. And uh, one thing that is good to know is the three corners and the three edges of a sail. So let's just quickly go through those little details right there. Uh, does anyone know, let's go to the corners first. Does anyone know what you call the top corner of the sail? The head. That's right, the head of the sail. Now that's the top corner, it's just like a, a, a person. Okay, the head's on top. All right, the bottom front corner yeah. is the tack, and the back and the back corner is the clue. clue. Uh, one way you said I- the calf? That's the tack, the tack. tack oh. It's the head. Okay, the bottom front corner is the tack, and the back corner is the clue. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the jib sail, okay, now that jib is a roller furling jib. It's rolled up around the forestay, okay? When we unroll it, you'll see that the sail is secured to the forestay by the head and by the tack, and the clue is, uh, is, is loose back here. So I always remember the tack, because that's where it's tacked or connected to the boat. If you kind of think of thumb tack or tacked out, the tack is the bottom front corner. The other corner, the back loose corner, is the clue. 
and I don't have a clue. So the clue is closer to the, is on the mask? It's the back. No, the clue is the back corner. Yeah, right. The back corner. So, right? And, and it's the same on the main. The top is the head, the front bottom corner is the tack, back, back corner is the clue. Okay, head, tack, clue. All right, let's go to the edges. The front edge of the sail, oh sorry, the bottom edge of the sail is called the, we all have a Ace. pair of them. The foot, the foot, the pair of them. A foot. The foot is the bottom edge of the sail. The front edge of the sail is called the the bow. That's a tough one. The luff. The front edge the of the sail of the sail. Of the sail. Say. The front edge of the sail is the luff, and the back edge of the sail is the leech. Luff and leech are often new words to you, uh, and they can be easily confused. But luff is the front edge. The L O F T. It's L U F F. Luff. Okay. The back edge is the leech. Now, one way you could remember that is when you get the sail set, you're going to see that on the back edge of the sail, there's a cord that runs inside, stitched inside the sail. You can tension it up to adjust the shape of the back edge of the sail. That line that's stitched into the back of the sail is called the leech line. And the leech line is at the leech of the sail. So if you can remember the leech line, it's the only line that runs down the back edge, it's the leech line. So it's the foot, the luff, and the leech line. Well, so sorry. this line and the leech. leech here in the back? This uh, line? The, the, no, no. Uh, we're talking specifically Ooh. about the sail. The sail. Okay? okay. Uh, it, the, it, the, the, the sail is a triangular piece of cloth. Okay. Say. So the three corners and the three edges of that triangle. Okay. The head? Head, tack, clue, no. foot, luff. Reach. Okay. Uh, in your course, there's a diagram. Yeah. In the book. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's right. in there. Just, I'm throwing good. it out there. I yeah. should have had awesome. you, but awesome. we're going to cover all this later. Okay. But Sounds as good. long as we're learning to sail, we should learn because that is a handy way to help you with sail trim. Look at the leech of the sail, right? That's how we can refer okay. to it. Okay. Uh, but. Since you brought it up, we might as well deal with that wire in the back too. So uh, you'll notice that the mast is supported. This is a mono hull. It's a, it's a sloop rig. Uh, you don't have to remember all this at the moment. A sloop <laughs> means you have one jib at the sail in front and one mainsail. This configuration makes it a sloop. Uh, the mono hull vessel. Uh, this is a this is considered to be a Bermudian sloop or a, or a, or a Tell me out there, Mike. Or a Marconi rig. The Marconi or Bermudian means the same thing. It's the triangular shaped sails, as opposed to, say, a square rigger or a gaff rigger or something like that. The triangular shaped sails uh, means Bermudian or same, same vessel would be a uh, Marconi rig. Okay, so it's a Marconi rigged sloop, meaning it only has two sails, the jib and the main. You don't have to remember all that. Just, just pointing out some some things that you could learn. Anyways, the point is, is that the Marconi rig is a rig that sails under a great deal of pressure. When everything is tuned up, there's a lot of pressure in the lines and tension in the sail, okay? And because of that, we can't just have a piece of uh, a mast standing up by itself. It needs to be supported. And the way we support that is with these cables, okay? So you'll notice cables on the side of the mast. You notice the, this cable in the back. And up there, wrapped up inside the sail, the front sail, the jib, is the damn reason the sails on yacht can't handle the sun. Now, I don't know. That sounds like a funny thing to me, but they can't. And so we got to put these damn covers on them. If you didn't put the cover on it, a couple years from new, the sail would basically break down. Can't somebody fix that? I mean, Jesus, it's 2022 and we've got... You tell me. You tell me. I don't know. It seems really... Anyways... Where was I? Right. So, uh, so, uh... Oh. Close-up understanding. Okay, and back to the cockpit we go. And I will now finish stowing the jib, and you'll see how to finish this off. So uh, here we are. We're back. It cannot unroll, and this is very important because we never want to walk away from the boat with this line like this. You know why? Because it'll of unfurl it. A rain squall strong wind, whatever, rolls through the marina, it catches a corner of the rolled up sail, and without the brakes on the drum, the thing can come completely fully out. 
okay? And uh, I can tell you, I have seen uh, more than one yacht in, a, in an anchorage or mooring area in marinas where all the We'll go with that, the main winch. So that's it, handles the main halyard, okay? So the main winch comes to here, okay? And now, what I'm gonna do to start off, let's say we're getting ready to hoist the main. Captain says, okay guys, we're getting out of the marina. Let's stand by to raise the mainsail. So one of the first things you're gonna do is you're going to uh, hoist up the head of the sail a little bit. So, Mike, do you normally just leave that hooked up? No. You, so you unhook it. So you've hooked it up already? Yeah. Okay. So normally I tie it off. Okay. So uh, uh, Mike has already attached the halyard to the head of the sail. As he was doing that, he looked up to make sure that it wasn't running through anything and that it was a clear path from the head of the sail uh, to the top of the top of the mast. We always want to check our halyards. You don't want to have it run uh, through anything. We've got the cleats that are on the dock, for example. That is another type of cleat. That is a horn cleat. See, like the horns. Here's a horn cleat. There's horn cleats all over the place on the boat. On the corners of the back corners of the boat, there are horn cleats. Is that all you got? You got any other different kind of cleats we can talk about here? Jam cleat over there. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a jam cleat. Where? Starboard side. Oh, isn't there one on this side? No, there isn't one on this side. Well, okay, uh, well, we could even do better. We can look across at the boat next to us. Uh, let's see, is he got any? That's a, that's okay, a, okay, there you go. That's a, what? Jam cleat. No. A cam cleat. Cam. There is a jam cleat, but that's not one. So you got jam cleats, you got cam cleats, and then you got your clam cleat. Oh, no, no clam cleat. It's jam cleats, <laughs> it's jam cleats and cam cleats, okay? So this is, you know what a cam is, right? In you what well, you're an inferior oil man so uh so a cam cleat is a is a is a is a, is a, is a well it's an awful you don't want to lose that sheet okay so uh uh generally with some perseverance the other thing is you might roll in the you might drop the jib or you might come you know yeah just yeah change it now go back to the other tag it happened it, go back to the other tag well if you can't break it you can't break it so anyways uh,
to decide to pull up the sail. I'll be up there, I'll be up there kind of flaky.
just made it back from the sailing uh, uh, training and uh, for day one and uh, just uh, docked the boat. Uh, we'll be heading back uh, home and then we'll uh, come back here tomorrow. When you see him here in like his board? In yes. forward, yeah. So what happens here is that this slip belongs to Patrick. Yeah. So he has this already pre-adjusted for his boat and on this slip line. And this is fixed in this position and this is tied up there. The boat cannot go any much further and lock into the, the front slip. So if you have a permanent slip, yeah, you can do. set it up like yeah. this, right? Yeah. So you leave this line on the dock. Yeah. And the boat in gear, the PSA, a solo sailor? No, no, he's from 